That rainy forecast for the Thanksgiving holiday, timing is everything if you're traveling. And AAA says more people will hit the road and take to the skies than last year. Our Jose Alonzo takes us to Tyler Pounds Regional Airport where the holiday rush is already underway. And we love to see the uptick in, in traffic compared to uh, previous years. And of course, during the pandemic, it's great to see people back traveling again. Airport manager Steve Thompson says there's been a steady stream of travelers this week and his crews are prepared. That we have 180 seats available uh, in and out of this airport um, pretty much daily. Those travelers, among the 4.5 million Americans projected to fly this Thanksgiving holiday, that's an 8% increase from last year. Big Sandy resident Sally Allen says she's flying to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to visit her son. And we're heading to Orlando tomorrow to have a Puerto Rican American Thanksgiving with his family, uh, I'm sorry, his girlfriend's family. And um, from there we will be doing some fun things in Orlando. Sally also says traveling through Tyler Pounds has always been a good experience. Lara Garcia flew in on Tuesday to visit her godparents. Her ticket wasn't cheap. I think it was like $500. It was a little bit higher than usual, but I, because I come here every year, I planned ahead to make sure that I could afford it. Planning ahead of your travels and arriving early is key. Now the airport also offers TSA pre-check, which gets you through the line quicker. But the airport manager also told me that if you arrive one to two hours before your flight, you should still make it on time. Tyler's a great place to be for the holidays. And again, we really see more people coming into Tyler and then departing uh, over the weekend instead of the opposite. Jose Alonso, CBS 19.